Hello there viewers of High Television. You are welcome to Press Brief for today, Tuesday, the uh, 12th of December 2023. For presentation, I am a technical Larry Kevin Tabot. On this program, the papers always come first. We'll be back to give you what they are saying. Once again, you are hasly welcome on board the program. Let's start off with uh, the Don. The Don newspaper for this morning have as list story 2024 budget a blow to press freedom. That is a list story you can read on the Don for today. In that sets the Don paper, it says Bimbia communities demand improved mobile network amidst infrastructure concerns. And we take you to Kenu Reis, Ignite Bando Yavaku Festival launch in Fako Division of the Southwest region. That Angute cement donate boreholes to some uh, southwest communities. We take you now to well being and well being. It says gender based violence. Uh, you can find more on that set paper for today. And for our show for today, talks of an open letter written by the uh, one of the daughters of late uh, Fosso Victor, that is Christelle Nadia Fosso, who uh, writes to Jean Bruno Tani that says, Leave Samuel Itofis alone. That is what you can find on uh, the front page story of Info Show newspaper for today. Multiplication uh, cases for uh, when it comes to TV in the uh, Yawunde, get rid of that story and that set paper for today. We move over to dialogue reconciliation at the uh, PCRN party of Karbala Libri. It says measures, urgent measures that need to be put in place for um, uh, uh, Kona Robe to be uh, reconciled with the, uh, the with the MP there who stands as the president of that party in the person of Cabra Libri. Get to read details on page four to page five on that paper for today. The Herald Tribune for this morning says Dampolio MTN Saga, Jikam President Celestine Tawamba tackles Cameroon's judiciary. And Tumfo Barista Nico Hale wins three more prestigious awards. Meanwhile, at commissioning of new Mekuda X School, he says for Angwa uh, for the fourth challenge, uh, General Executive Committee to unite all Mekuda, um, to unite all Makuda branches, bring development to village. <coughs> We move away from that story to the next publication for today, The Punch. The Punch talks of river state crisis. It says PDP moves to replace uh, 27 pro WK assembly defectors after they defected yesterday at the assembly of the river state crisis. Uh, assembly yesterday in Porta Court. Moving away to this next story on that paper for this morning, as Sisra Oshwala and Victor Osimen wins prestigious calf ballon d'or last night at uh, last night at the Marrakech Hall in Morocco. Tinubu condemned police uh, station burning tells army to protect democracy and cut to this list over 91,000 uh, companies over infrastructures get to read that story and that's it paper for today the guidance post for this morning says uh dampolio mtn affairs you can boss sites with empty and false cameras justice system and we'll move over to this one that says presentation of recent one international award women empowerment minister hails uh esther omam selfless service to the nation and we take you to at close of november session of parliament kavage jibri wants government against intense intensity to teachers plight fruit and quality training a paper talks of national polytechnic bam men uh, matriculate 1000 fresh uh, men and women would we'll take you to the sun this uh we take you to the voice i beg your pardon the voice of rani Josa reports on kamasesh elections 2023 bamenda hits up as multiple candidates challenge incumbent viban uh, jute and we'll move over to maurice camto poll on predicted uh on predicted crowds at the yaunde congress hall for the kamarunisa movement elective convention that saw some 
other uh, political opposition party leaders who will uh, weigh in their support for barrister who weigh in their support for uh, uh, barrister Maurice Camto, barrister Ewili Longa Edwards Cope Canadian Award for championing human rights that was given to him last Sunday at the Canadian resident in Yawundi. We'll move away to this other paper for today, the paper from the National Parliament, the Kuti Parliament, for this morning talks of the uh, Cameroonian uh, legislature. This says the men of the situation, making reference to Kavege Jibri, Speaker of the National Assembly, and, and Masenya Tijifenji, President of the Cameroon Senate. And wrap up with this one from the MPs or, or members of parliament for from France of Cameroonian extraction who were in the country to have a working session and give their own support to the land of their ancestors. You can get to read that story on page six on that publication. Cameroon echoes of William Debye to says at budgetary uh, session, Ida Bato Mayor unveils project to modernize municipality, benefit population. Get to read more on that story on that paper for this morning ghs limbe class of 96 batch um have their meeting uh had i will be having their meeting agm this november this december 16. We move over to uh, Global Pluralism Awards winner Esther Oman presents awards to Cameroon's Minister of Empowerment and the Promotion of Women's Empowerment and the Promotion of uh, the Family, Professor Marie Therese Abena Ondoa. The nation for this morning says cash flights persist in banks and in that said paper, attainable governors to sign health pack with the World Health Organization. 18 killed, 27 injured in crash. The paper reports on what the Nigerian Senate uh, have to say on that. And the nation is damned, uh, uh, the paper says the nation is damned the newspaper of the year in the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Congratulations to our colleagues over there at the nation newspaper in Nigeria. The post now from Cameroon talks of Anglophone crisis. President Kongo Agbo Felix uh, implores Bia to a statement by freeing political prisoners uh, who were hurt as a result of the Anglophone crisis. We take you to Therese um, Tenda who was honored by U.S. President Lifetime Achievement Award to get to read details on page 9. Chief uh, Rob, Dr. Robert Esuka in the Lord's successful start of the Bando Festival that kickstart last Saturday in the city of Limbe. Peace Corp job announcement. You can read that story on page 7 on that publication for this morning. We'll move away from that paper. We take you now to the next publication we are having for today. I think that should be uh, the last paper for today. Punch Plus Extra report on King and Queen making reference to Asisha Oshwala and Victor Simen from Nigeria who all won the uh, Ballon d'Or, the African Ballon d'Or yesterday in Marrakesh, Morocco. In that said paper, Haaland doubtful for Club World Cup Palace Clash. Get to read that story on that said paper for today. Red Devil in make or break clash and wrap up with this one from the third paper that uh, report on uh, De Gaussier, best women uh, goalkeeper for uh, Africa. Get read more sports stories on the sports paper for today, Point Sports Extra. With that paper from neighboring Nigeria, this is where we'll put a wrap on this edition of the program press brief. Thanks immensely for the privilege of your company and till we come your way tomorrow, God willing, 9 a.m. Cameroon time. Bye bye.